Hello friend, it's Summer with HammondsNest.com and I want to show you a quick bow idea. It's called a faux loop bow is what I'm calling it. Don't believe I've ever shown it to you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely give it a try. Stick with me through the tutorial and I'll give you some extra notes and ideas and things like that. But I'm working with some wired ribbon for this particular style. That's what I do recommend. I have a two and a half inch wide ribbon, which is this red snowflake. And I have a one and a half inch wide ribbon, which is this green design here. And I'm cutting three strips of each at 14 inches long. So I've got six strips total cut 14 inches long and that is all that we're going to need to build this bow besides a little string to tie it off. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring a piece of the ribbon down halfway as you see here and use a stapler to attach that to the piece of ribbon. So making this little loop, we're going to do that to all six pieces. Another thing that you could use to do this part would be some hot glue. That would be up to you. I'm just showing you an option with a stapler. Okay, now I'm grabbing all three pieces of the red ribbon and I'm doing a dovetail. That's just where you cut the V upward towards um, where you'll have that pretty tailed in. Most of the time on my one and a half inch uh, ribbons, I just do an angle cut. So I did an angle cut on that one and a dovetail on the red. Now I have a little piece of jute string that I went ahead and pulled off to tie. Now we're going to start building. Okay, I build between my thumb and my pointer finger there. I kind of use that as the center. What you're looking at here is the front of the bow. And then if I turn my hand over, I'd see the back of the bow, but this is how we're gonna build it. So we're going back and forth, pinch in the center where you've stapled, and you're gonna go back and forth and you're gonna make sure that none of your loops are stacked on top of each other. So you have a loop and a tail on each piece of ribbon. So I'm pointing to you where all of my loops are and see how they're all spread out. So they're not sitting on top of each other. There's no right or wrong as to which direction you go, just as long as you keep your eye on your loops and that's it. And then you turn it as, you know, over on the other side and give it a nice little tie. I, I loved using jute string. You can use pipe cleaners, you can use zip ties and floral wire or whatever you're comfortable with to tie it off. And once you have it nice and tight in the center, then you just have to fluff your bow. So I stick my hand in all the little loops and I let the wire do its thing. That's why I do recommend using a wired one for this style. And once you get everything shaped, look how beautiful and full it is. Of course, you can add uh, different numbers of ribbon strips if you would like, or look what I'm going to show you real quick. I'm using two designs that are two and a half inches wide. So instead of using a one and a half inch ribbon, I replaced it with a thicker ribbon. Of course, it's going to give me a little bit more full of a look and a different look. So I've got some um, wired burlap here and some of this beautiful and that pretty, that navy snowflake. I picked both of these up at Hobby Lobby and I'm just doing the same thing. I've already got them stapled and cut and dovetailed and now I'm just finding them in my center and uh, spreading out all my loops and look how beautiful that is okay so i'm going to tie that off again and then i'll go through the same process of just shaping it and really letting that wire do the trick now y'all know if you've worked with ribbon it's not all created equally so there are ribbons that are stiffer that will give you just a prettier fuller look and then there are some that are kind of like this satin that they um you know, they will go flat easier, but you just have to always keep it shaped. The thing about wire ribbon is you can always reshape it and make it look all beautiful just like this. And then, of course, these make great little gift toppers on gift bags. And, you know, you can decorate your tree with them and use them for like little tiny door hangers. I mean, bows, there's so many different places, the top of lanterns. Really, the possibilities are endless. But I hope that you enjoyed this style and that you will give it a try and put your own special touch on it. Let me know how it turns out. Bye-bye.